Hello, Steph Infection listeners. I never start them off fun or entertaining. We're back in studio with Sydney Washington, hilarious comedian, New York comedian now living in Los Angeles. Pray for me. I, <laughs> I need all the listeners to pray for me. <laughs> it's been 11 months and I'm like, Ooh, it hasn't been 11 months. I am I going to make it? <laughs> I thought it was longer for some reason. Oh, because I've been like complaining like I've been here for five years. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, that's what it is. It's literally just been 11. I swear to God, because you, well, you were dipping in, though. You dipped your toes here a bit. You come, mm-hmm. would come to shows and stuff. And I also, like, you have a big online presence. I've seen you in a million Comedy Central things. I think I guess I thought you were here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, that feels like low-key shade. It's like, but you should have been in L.A. Though, as much <laughs> as you were. You should have been here. But Was it? No. Nah, no. For me, maybe that's just me projecting. Sorry. Are you happy <laughs> that you're here now? I mean, I just, I'm older, and so I'm not good with transition. I, I would like to be comfortable. Mm-hmm. I don't want to feel like shit is not set up. Even though it is set up, I just, I loved being in New York because I knew that's my city. Like, people mm-hmm. know me. I don't have to explain myself. And here, I just feel like I'm constantly showcasing for yeah. either comedy or just for friends. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's insanity. No, that, make, that actually makes a lot of sense. When I first moved here, the first, like, three years, I felt like every set was a fucking showcase. Like, mm-hmm. you can't bomb, because you're like, well, that's it, I bomb now, I'm not doing sets for another fucking five weeks, because I did one show, and it's the new from Canada sucks, and then you get that whole fucking, but you came here as a name already. It don't matter. You it don't, LA is like, what is a name though? Is a name like you on a billboard, or are you, you in a movie, or are you in a name just like, oh, people know you, you're popular, like, yeah. but no, I think LA is all about business. It's like, really? yes, it's it feels like extremely like, clout driven okay. New York like you, all you have to do is be good and yeah. like people will know you LA is like you can be as good as you want but it's like what you got but I think now that's but that's what makes the cream rise to the top is mm-hmm. that the saying and that's gonna happen with you cause you are very funny so it's not like you're gonna come here and fucking I don't think I've ever seen you bomb and I've oh we've done some shows there we, we did. I remember watching girl, in. Com- um, the Clusterfest, bitch. Oh, when we did the Clusterfest up next, girl. I was, I was still, I still get comments to this like, pretty girl, not funny. Stay pretty, not funny, not funny. Would love to be called pretty <laughs> once in my life. <laughs> oh, bitch, stop complaining about this. Are you insane okay, right now? Sorry, I'm... Every single girl sorry, will read let mine. Me go, let me get out. No. <laughs> I, if someone said I'm pretty and unfunny, I'd be like, I'm quitting comedy right now. <laughs> I get, why, who does this man think they're fooling is the last YouTube comment I read yesterday. Kill me now. No. Yes, that Clusterfest set, I don't even know, I didn't see your set because where was I? In a dive bar, crying my eyes out. You did tell me that after, like, yeah. Like, recently you told me what happened afterwards because, yeah, I did not see you after. No, you did not. I saw the set. The the weekend. Also, we also performed. So, this was like my first. Big, like, yeah. bigger, my first Comedy Central thing mm-hmm. to do. And they, it was this Cluster Fest festival in San Francisco. Yeah. And it was fun as fuck. It was but big. It was so yeah. big because it was the second year of them doing it. Yeah. And it was like a, it was a really big deal. It was, it was also to like, you know, people like us, this is like a big, felt like a break. Yeah. And then our show was at 5 p.m.? Yes. In what it felt was, like a cafeteria? High, high, high ceilings. It was an auditorium. Yeah. It, it should have been. Bright it was lights. like talent show yes. energy. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It. Mm-hmm. yeah. And I'm up there Hateful. talking about my fucking pussy at 5 p.m. when the sun is blazing outside like, the window. The sun is on. The sun, <laughs> sun was working. The sun is, the sun yeah. is on. Yeah, I, I got, I, I can't believe my manager didn't drop me after that. No, no. I think whatever. Like everybody has. Not the rough, set, but my, in my general, behavior and your, and afterwards. Behavior. Oh, because you yeah. was upset. But that was upsetting though. It was, it was upsetting. Yeah. But the thing is, is that no one could hear the laughs. We've gone every. I talked to everybody. Nobody could hear the laughs. No. So not only are you not hearing laughs, but then you're like in your head, like, "Oh shit, I am bombing." And then there's the point where you're, "Oh no, I am bombing. I am bombing. I'm and, bombing. This is not going well." And you know that there's so much industry in the crowd. That's a problem everybody. Too. Yeah, literally everybody. I don't even know how I booked shows after that. It was no, crazy. So, it was crazy. So, I felt like, "Damn, bitch, you came this far to do this." Yeah. Okay. But I think the only good thing about it was that. No one did good. It's not like there was one of us that was like, but they killed. Like, we all kind of did bad. No, Nick. Nick Nemiroff, he killed. Did he? Yeah, he did well. 
I, again, was he on our show? Yeah, he was on. Again, I left. Yeah. Again, yeah. again, I was crying in a bar, yeah. in a dive bar, no, and did, my manager had to come yeah. and buy me more mm -hmm. makeup from CVS because I cried it all off. I um, was crying for everything, so like I didn't cry where you were at, but like I definitely was having a hard time. So it's fine. We're, there's no here, no there. That's why you thrive and you got yeah. your podcast. We <laughs> out here. I'm bobbing. <laughs> we're fine. That was the past. You got your show, so you're doing, is it monthly? Uh, we're, I'll see. I'll okay. see. I, w I would like it to be monthly, but yeah. hopefully I book something so I don't have to fucking yeah. be in these streets. I would love <laughs> to be off the streets. Isn't that all you want? Like, I don't want to be on the no, streets no, no more. Take me off. Take me I don't want to be seen by people. I want to no. be on set, yep. get in a trailer, leave, go in my ap Ooh. apartment, sleep, go back, do the shit again. I, I That's don't. That's it? Yeah. That's I'm, the life. Yeah. We've Book been in the streets us. long. We've been in the Book streets. Us. Come on. They need people like us on shows. Look Come at the on. two of us. We act. We're funny. Look, we do a duo, do a cop duo, pretty and ugly. Yay. No, <laughs> <laughs> Hot pretty and ugly, not. pretty ugly. We could yeah, act, or we could do a cleaning show, pretty ugly. Okay, us. I mean, obviously. What obviously? What were you gonna say? I'm not saying you anything. You'd be so horrible. Obviously, you're unclogging no, the toilet. No, like, wait I'm, a no. The stuff that I do is ugly, though. Like when I, during the pandemic, I showed people my refrigerator, my closet, and they were like, "Oh, baby girl, is your antidepressants working?" <laughs> It's not. It's not giving. It doesn't look. Well. It's piles of trash in your refrigerator and your closet. Oh God. Yeah. So like Are I. You a hoarder. Uh, do it. Do it. Do the quarantine. It was giving. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because you're so put together and you always look like not a hair out of place and you always look stunning. So I'm like, thinking of you having a hoarding house makes me feel better about myself. Honestly. Oh, I mean, I think the reason why I, w I wasn't hoarding before that is because we were never in the house. We were always yeah, running yeah. around. But don't let me sit sit around too much and and think. No, no. And have happens. money to buy stuff. All that unemployment, <laughs> bitch. She was going straight to Bezos, and I was getting anything and everything, and never throwing anything away. And I had, I was like oh. old Mother Hubbard, but with a good bone structure. <laughs> and so I had boxes <laughs> everywhere, cats, plants. It was gross. How many cats? Two, two. Okay. But I had already had I had the cats when I was in a relationship, and so yes. she was like, "I'm moving. I'm I'm gonna get the cats up if you don't come and get them." And I said, "Okay, I, I, life is bad. I might as well get some cats." Uh -huh. Yeah. And <laughs> It's like, but they're not new cats. You've been had cats. So was yeah, your yeah, life yeah. bad before you got those cats? And it was like, no, just the relationship. The relationship was rough. Because of me. You, it's the the old mother Hubbard probably. Yeah, it was the it hoarding is. of the boxes. That it could was. Have been a problem. It was. I was it? That. Yeah. Oh, really? I was, I'm, I'm very much um, a mess. I'm a mess. Like, I'm a messy person because of working in nightlife. Yeah. Nightlife, you just, you're staying out mm -hmm. all night. You go home to rest. Yeah. And then leave and go back to work. That's it. There's no resting. There's no resting. Especially in New York. I don't know how the fuck you guys do it in New York. I the, the like I did four shows last night. I'm I've deceased. I've died. I I don't know how your mind like running around getting the fucking subway flipping. It's crazy. That's why people look so tired. Well, that's why that's people awesome. look. Yeah. That's why when they come to LA, they're like, oh shit, I gotta go get the Botox. I gotta go get the mm -hmm. filler because in mm -hmm. in New York, your life it feels like overhead lighting. Overhead lighting is just, you're just so dreary and mm -hmm. you look beat up and it looks like you've had four shows every night, even though you probably didn't even yeah. have a show that night. Yeah. So you come to LA, yeah, and the like, sun is on yeah. and they can see you. Oh yeah. You're like, oh shit. <laughs> I'm <laughs> really gotta... funny, but wow. <laughs> I'm giving Steve Buscemi all day. No offense, Steve Buscemi is cool, hot, but no, just, he's not hot. What are you, you talking about? Yo, no, he. You think yes, Buscemi's he hot? Is. Yes, I. When I was waitressing, he would come to uh, the bar a lot, the really? the lounge that I worked at. Yo, the girls were throwing themselves. At, he is hot, like in sense of like he's very comfortable. Okay. He's cool. He's he has a personality. He's not trying to be like, ooh, I'm Steve Buscemi. He was very, very cool and, okay. and and he know how to tip so oh so that right yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be Bushimi. because <laughs> like his face looks like he's just been like sitting in a, a puddle for a long time well he's he's older he's yeah, you know he's, he's, he's been, not getting the botox the men no, don't need it he doesn't need Fuckers. it he's been through he's been through it all he's been yeah. he's been through it all and that was during um i think boardwalk empire when oh, okay. when i was yeah, seeing yeah, him yeah. so he so yo people were young girls yeah. were like Okay, daddy. And mm -hmm. he obviously was like, I'm not entertaining y'all hoes, but I'm Obviously's, out here. Yeah, 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 yeah. He is, he is cool. Fuck. Okay, well, that's good. Yeah. Uh, doesn't it change you when you have a nice celebrity tip well? Uh, yes, it does. Yeah. It's it does. like, you have the money. You just 
Why just not? Just do it. Just give some. Just give a little bit of something. I will always say I've always had a story. Kelly Ripa. I don't. Anybody say anything about her? We fighting because that woman. She's she don't ask for much. She's so nice. She's smiling. She putting her thick ass car down and then tipping fifty five percent. Really? Yes. 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 Fifty five. Yes. Yeah. That's big. I don't That's know good. if she's doing that now. I don't want to, you know. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. Okay, okay. Off the record, on the record, <laughs> 55% for more. I don't know. I don't know what she's doing with other people, but she was. She took okay. care of me. I don't know. That's fucking crazy. That's she a thought she job. was donating to the NAACP. I don't know what was going on, but she, <laughs> like, I I'll, say, I'll take Kelly, it. <laughs> do you, you want me? What's going yeah, on? Excuse me. Yeah, yeah but try. it was great. Yeah, yeah. when everybody, when, if I ever get that much money, I'll probably lo lose it or give it away because mm -hmm. I just want to. I want to help the people who are working these fucking awful jobs. Yeah, and it's maybe I always think that they probably did work one of those jobs growing up at some point because you mm -hmm. you can st you can tell people. Yeah, I, I, like I I that was a huge thing I would do on dates. If a guy paid, I'd look over at what he would tip. Yeah, because that's such a fucking deal breaker to me. I'm like, if you are a bad tipper, I'm like, I have bad service all the time. I still tip. It's weird. It's weird because at the end of the day, if you don't want to encounter. Good service, bad service, all that. Takeout, get takeout. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, D'Agostino's, Sea Town. I'll name you all the stores. You could go up there, get your, <laughs> get you some recipes or Blue Apron and shit, yeah, and do yeah, it yourself yeah. because you are getting served mm -hmm. hand and foot. And usually, the people who tip to bad are asking for everything and yes, above and are. beyond. Yes, they are. They want you to literally walk them to the bathroom, mm -hmm. get them all the waters. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this fresh squeeze? X Y Z. Mm -hmm. You asking all these questions. Babe, the way your tip is not reflecting no. how much you have asked me to do no, for you no, no, in no, the no, last no. two hours. No, it's wild. Yeah. it's a, I, There's a guy in Canada, Michael Landsberg, if you're listening, he's like a big sports news radio, like he's big in Canada, mm -hmm. worst tipper in the entire world. He would come in all the fucking time and like order this, this it's like a Greek salad, but made it so, like, extra feta, but no feta, but you know what I mean, feta on the side. I would just say all these crazy things. I remember, I never wrote down orders. It was a huge brag. I could memorize things. Me too. <gasps> Me too. Oh, and I was blackout, like 99% really? of the time. Really? Oh, and you no, never I fucked it up? Um, I mean, maybe a few times, yeah, yeah, but for yeah. the most part, I, w I was known for, I would have Monday night shifts, no busser, nobody, no, managers like downstairs. I would have the whole room to oh, myself shit. and I'm getting food I'm getting drinks I'm like busing I'm doing everything oh, and, and memorizing fucked up it <laughs> yeah. out of this world out of this world I fucking didn't drink on the job I was too scared yeah yeah I mean you were probably doing it the right way but it was more fun though I came in one time on uh, St. Patrick's Day and I went oh, that's the day for to do a it. couple sips beforehand and then I was all my customers like, wow, you're in a great mood. And I'm like, yeah, oh yeah. And I'm like, I'm hammered right now. Nobody should be sober working on St. Patrick's Day. No, no one should be sober. Should be sober ever working. <laughs> <laughs> we should always be drunk. It would have been more fun if we had two shots here. I mean, no, it's fine. I mean, I, I, I feel like the reason why people kind of like stumble into alcoholism doing that job, people are terrible. Don't act like you don't know who people, like you have not seen people. You see them in the comments. The same people you see in the comments, trolling, being awful, despicable individual. Those mm. are people that we have to deal with in real life. Yes, yes. Awful people. Yeah. yeah, I need 12 shots of Patron and give me all of the eight ball because <laughs> these people are driving me crazy <laughs> and they're mean. You worked also on? Oh, oh everything. Really? Everything. I, I, like nightlife is, a, I mean, you working yeah, yeah, after yeah. midnight. That's the Come thing. on now. What time did you get home, like four? Five. Oh, like six, <gasps> six. Yeah, I was. That's why I'm saying I did not know <sighs> that I was a hoarder until I was like, oh, I gotta be in the yeah. house all day. Yeah, yeah. I gotta yeah. sit down. Like, yeah, it's too much. I'm doing it all. You're doing honey. it all, and now you're back out here that, in these streets doing it all. Sober, five years. And, really? Uh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yes. Shit. I'm, I'm kind of quiet about it. Oh my god. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like I don't have to about brag yeah. about it. Fuck, yeah, you don't have any jokes. Like, do you have jokes about it or do you have jokes about uh, it? I mean, it's it's like, not really. I do have some jokes about it, but for, for the most part, I just feel like that's not my personality. Yeah, yeah. I'm not like an advocate of sobriety. I want everybody to do what's best for them, but yeah. I don't need nobody calling or texting me at 2 a.m. talking about, girl, I think I... I think I got a drinking problem. Girl, me too. Yeah. I, am, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I cannot yeah, be nobody's yeah. sponsor. I'm still hanging on by a thread. Oh, fuck. Yeah. But you hang out too. You're not the kind of person that's like, you know, because I know some so people are like, I can't be around it. I can't look at it. But yeah. you're like. Those people are smart. They yeah, they, I mean, they know what's good for them. But me, I, I vicariously live through yeah, everybody yeah. else's mess. So I want to be there because I'm sober. So I'm seeing everything and I'm. 
right. You're you should right. Now. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. remember? Yeah, yeah. You're mm-hmm. taking a lot of notes. You're yeah. really getting in there. Oh shit! Because yeah, I saw you the last show. I saw you do. We did this like bar show mm-hmm. that was. There's. So, I love people that run the show, but it mm-hmm. was. It shouldn't it shouldn't be a show when it's like we're standing in a bar and there's people talking, but you killed. Yeah. And I had to go back after you. I was like, God damn it. I'm like, they're not going to fucking listen to me. No, it was did. good, though. It was good. It, was it actually good. was shocking. It was, it was good. good. It was, it was a good like, layup so that yeah, you yeah, could yeah. actually do your yeah, damn you jokes. Got, yeah, you got yeah. them going, though. That was those, really, really good. Those shows sometimes are like, what are we, what are we doing here? But that's why, I, that's why I think you just have to, like, have fun, like, no matter yeah, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. and just know that none of this matters. Because, like, when you put all the pressure into it, then that's what makes it unfun, and then you mm-hmm. can't, like, you can't get into your, your pocket. And so I'm constantly like, what what will make me smile or mm-hmm. make me have a good time? But again, LA, showcase, showcase, showcase. Yeah. What's your tight five? Uh, my ass. My yeah, my asshole <laughs> is the tight five. That's what I have. That's what's tight, okay? You should just go on stage and be like, hi, I'm Sydney Washington. Turn around and open your ass. And no, be like, yeah. I cannot. That goes against my religion. Does um, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The sobriety and the ass showing religion. Yes, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Mm, I don't, I'm not trying to get canceled. Not just no, yet. Not you know? yet. No, Let no, me do something, something substantial fine. and then get canceled. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I want to get into your body thing because, look, Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. You're beautiful. And when beautiful people look ugly, it's very funny. It's is it? it is. I'm okay. so sorry. I'm so, I'm so All right. no, sorry. No, no, tell, tell your truth. I am because you know you you've never looked bad. I've never seen a like, even like when you do stories when you're like whatever, not fully done. You still look hot. And I'm like, I have to wake up. I have rosacea. I got a lot of cover up on right now. I got to really <laughs> the mullet wild in the mornings. We have a lot of work to do. Mm-hmm. So when you, when we were talking about this ailment we we're going into, and then you, you have photo evidence, and I've never laughed so hard. Like, it was, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, let's get into it. Let's get into it. It's so crazy that it happened to me because I just was like, I'm in Costa Rica for my birthday. I'm having a blast. Everything is great. But, like, that sun hit different. I'm mm-hmm. near the equator. What the fuck is wrong with you? you? I think I needed to, like, have a sunscreen bath in order okay. for me to be wh- where I was at and what I was doing. So no sunscreen is on? I, no, I had sunscreen oh, on, oh, but it's just like, I mean, I, I feel like I probably had to reapply every 20, 30 minutes. Okay. But we got on a catamaran, and so I have no hat on. I have uh-huh. nothing. I'm, si- I'm literally sitting out on the edge of the catamaran, mm-hmm. basking in all the sun. Drinking, and it was like for, enjoying yourself. it was five, six, hours Mm -hmm. that's a long time Mm -hmm. so um no shade no shade not a piece of shade inside Mm -hmm. Uh no and we i mean we went there so we go in there and early in the day Mm -hmm. i mean like yeah like maybe noon yeah from noon to six that's the peak sun time yes Mm -hmm. so it was and then i was on the catamaran you know it's like a group communal thing and the white people was cooking, okay, sizzling yeah. fajitas, <laughs> and they you wouldn't sw- you would swear that the sun is doing nothing. Yeah. So that's why I was like, oh yeah, I'm good too. Mm-hmm. Like I'll be fine. And then the next day I woke up and my forehead, it was it was like I was a unicorn, like I was about to grow like a little. Let's get the. My horn. It was bad. It was. Yeah. It's just it's such a strange placement Oof. and such a large bump. Okay, so like. Is this a blister? Is this a hard lump? What what are we dealing with here? It's hard. Hard lump. Yes, it's hard. So out hard, and it's the size of, what size is that? That's like, it's, well, um, oh, like the Red see, Bull can almost. When you, when you, shut up. When you see the video, <laughs> it's all, it's all of the, it's all of my forehead from the top right here. Yeah. It's all of that. So it was big. It was. It was a, po- you, it, that looked like a blue whale. It did. It did. Yeah. And I saw it and. My best friend Marie Faustin was there, and when I tell you she had a field day, she it was it was her birthday because the way she <laughs> laughed and screamed and squealed and roasted it was it was beautiful. But I was just surprised because I was like, "Damn, I got like two more days here. What this is? Yeah, what do you do? This is terrible." So then, you know, obviously I wore a hat, and then later in the day it started moving down. <laughs> it started like so. Is it like liquid in your head? Is that what it feels like? I like don't what know, do we? It didn't feel like liquid. It wasn't liquid, but it was definitely like swollen yeah it was like swollen like a like a puff like an allergic reaction yeah and it was sun poisoning that's what it was and then i my whole chest was all like um uh like when you get like whelps whelps like if like uh 
like a mosquito bite kind of, okay, or like yeah, when yeah, you yeah. have hives or something yeah. like that. Oh, my whole chest was that. Um, and then later in the day, my face started peeling. So I could, I was like, oh, this is most definitely sun poisoning because I've yeah, had yeah, sun yeah. poisoning before. When I was in Puerto Rico in college, I mean, my whole body was in, had little tiny bumps. Like blisters? Yeah, like sun poisoning blisters, yeah. Okay. I don't have that. Y'all ain't getting that. I ain't got that. I'm, but okay. Y'all ain't got that. I'm, I told you about mine. Yes, no, I saw that. I saw you after that. Yes. I was like, damn, yes. girl. So that. mine, I, but I feel. And you still have the scars from it. I'm, oh yeah, they're horrible. Yeah. Because mine was called polymorphic sun eruption. Mm hmm. I think they're very similar. I think it's the same vein. It's some sort of sun poison. Okay, wait. Mm -hmm. So you said it's in your head, it's puffed up, mm -hmm. and it's moving down. So mm -hmm. where, how, how far down are we talking on your head here? Um, and how long does it last? And are you like headache? Like are you no, feverish or no just? He no headache. I don't know if I had a fever. I was hot, but I was also okay. in Costa Rica. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> like, I can't tell. I can't. I can't tell. And I was like, this is my birthday. Y'all not going to rain on my parade. I'm going to have a good time. So. Uh, I kept a hat on for uh -huh. most of the day. Did it even fit over the ball? Yes, bitch, it <laughs> did. But I did. Have, I do have a picture. I'll send it to you where I had the hat on and I'm in the pool like this, and then I had a picture of a beluga and I put the hat on top of the beluga's head. And we, same. Yeah, yeah, twins. yeah. It's just such mm -hmm. an it's just such an odd spot for it to go. Mm -hmm. And like the blisters and the rash seems normal, but like I've never seen that. Yeah. Like the sweat. Like like it's such a. It's the sun fucks you. Yeah. The sun really like, damn, like, thank God it's gone. Yeah. So did you, you never went to like a doctor and was like, what is this? Like what? I said, I'm alive. Yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. I'm alive. You're not going to want to go to like a, also, I don't know if I, I, I get scared. I never get travel insurance. I'm like, where are you supposed to go? Yeah. Costa Rica. Where am I? Where, no, where but am I, I think Costa Rica, you had to, you had to pay for travel ex, um, okay. insurance, I think in order to go, but I could be wrong, but yeah, it was, um, it was one of those things where I was like, I'm gonna throw my hands up to Jesus and I'll be fine. I'll get back to, I'll get back to LA. And you did. Is that did. is that the worst body thing you've ever had? Uh, no, I, I'm gonna say uh, a coke addiction. That was the the worst. Well, thing that, that yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah, was yeah, worse that, than that. Did you get a DVA septum? No. Okay. No, I didn't. But also, I didn't check. How, how do you know if you, you have know? A Okay. It's, it's a hole through your nose. Oh, but bitch, I was going there. It was on its way because it was so thin. It was very thin. <laughs> then, and yeah, and yeah, I yeah. was like blowing my nose and I felt like I could feel the tissue on the other side. Yeah, but. That is, that well, that, but it's, did it grow back in? Is it like thicker now? I think so. I don't know. I don't really, <laughs> I don't like putting that energy out there. Like, oh, yeah, I should yeah, be yeah. worried. So I just like. No, it's too late now. I mean, yeah. also, <laughs> there's nothing to worry about now. Yeah, yeah. It's done. But I'm like, okay, if I have a problem, mm -hmm. you know the ambulance will be there. Yeah, yeah. did you me. ever have to like go to the doctor for that? No, no. no. Oh, well, um, I do have a story about the time I got roofied <gasps> at a club, but it was mainly, before that I had did ro roofie like myself. I had roofied myself like tons of times just because it was like, oh, I gotta build my roofie tolerance up. So like- If it I'll, happens to you? I'll never get affected by it. Yeah. Really? Yes. Dumb. G no. Just stupid. I know. I don't. I honestly think this might be the smartest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> it was crazy. Also, was... fuck that you would even have to think of doing this because knowing at some point you were going to get fucking roofied. Yeah, but I, you know, I was in the like big house music like scene, and so mm -hmm. like people were doing G K all that stuff all the time. So it was kind of like you don't know. Are you are you blackout? Are you sick? Or are you roofied? So the only way you would know is if you, you know. You got to do all three. Okay, okay. <laughs> you oh my do god! <laughs> you so, what do does it. it feel when you did it to yourself? Like it was just like you feel like just you pass out. Like what uh -huh. exactly is it? You okay. pass out. Okay, it's pretty much like that's it. You yeah, wake you up feel, the next morning. You feel like, mm, and then you wake up and you're like, what? What happened last night? Like, oh really? Yeah. No memories. Right? No memories. But obviously, you have to do Oof. it with a safe. Safe companion. Yes, 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 yes. A yes, friend yes. that wouldn't fuck you over. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. You. yeah. And uh, yeah. So when what happened when you were a roofie then? You just... When I was at, I went to this club and at the time I was I was going to places by myself for like a whole year because obviously I was going through something and <laughs> <laughs> going through something. I was like I'm just gonna hang out, <laughs> but I was going and um, I kind of felt like. Oh yeah, I go out by myself. I'm I'm protecting the girls because mm -hmm. I'm the one that like looks like the bait or whatever. But this one time I went out and I had not drank that much or I wasn't really drinking while I was on roofie patrol, that's yeah. what I call it. <laughs> I had a shot of um 
tequila and a and a Amstel light. Disgusting. But bad beer. Bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would you do that? Why? So you already know what kind of place I was in. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I take the <laughs> shot and I drink a little bit of the beer and I put it on the um the bar and my song comes on. So I leave the bar a little bit and um like dancing. Uh-huh. I go back. It's like 101. You're never supposed to put your drink down, but I was like, it's beer. Nobody's mm-hmm. gonna do that to beer. That's not Fuck. even the, any girl that's drinking a beer, you don't want her. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Foolish. Yeah. So then I drink it and then I'm dancing again and I drink it again. And then 30 minutes later, I'm like, oh shit. I start feeling like how I felt whenever I've had like yeah. G. And so I went to the bathroom and I was like, I'm gonna pee it out. And that's like, this is why you uneducated <laughs> dumb bitch. What? <laughs> You can't pee out roofie. No, no, no. What's it's wrong in. with you? And you can't it, barf it out either, can no, you? No, no. And it's then in. you go to the, I went in the bathroom, was in the basement of the bar. No. I was like the girl who's in a scary movie that runs up the attic. It's like, you're yes. going to get killed. Yeah, you they're run gonna you. into the fucking you're gonna trip tool shed. And they're going to kill you. Yeah. So, uh, Fuck. <laughs> I, but I like blacked out, but I could hear everything, but I couldn't move. So I was like, oh, oh I'm not even getting top God. shelf roofie. Somebody gave me some bootleg shit <laughs> where like I can't move. I'm not supposed to be hearing the DJ no. bomb right now. <laughs> the DJ is playing Justin Timberlake. Yeah, we're. I'm, yeah. this is a terrible time for me. So. <laughs> I was like, I don't want anything to happen with that music yeah, on. No. Uh, with some sexy rhythm. back. Yeah. No, Good that's God. awful. So no. um, I ended like throwing up and doing all those other stuff. And then um, finally people found me and it was like gay guys and uh they just thought i was fucked up oh they yeah, thought, yeah, yeah yeah they no, thought no. i just didn't know how to handle yeah, my liquor yeah, and then yeah. finally the people from the club came in they saw me my my lashes coming off i, I threw up in my hair oh, it was fuck. and my drug dealer at the time came in and they were talking about me and i was like nah i know her i've seen her have he said this out loud i've seen her have 12 pickleback shots to the face she was not drunk. She did. She didn't even drink tonight. I know that. I know that for a fact. But to hear that out loud, I've seen her <laughs> drink twelve pickleback shots. Good shots to the though. face. To the face is hilarious. Also, twelve is so many shots. Oh my girl, out of my That's mind. Whole. I was it's like also a, a whole jar of pickle juice. I was a raging. Oh, swollen like <laughs> chipmunk. Yeah, yeah that just bug so eye chipmunk. All that salt, salt in there. Salt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Drunk chipmunk. Fuck. Just a mess. But yeah, I, so the, oh, the ambulance came. They rolled God. me out of the club. It was the most ambulance embar- came. Oh yeah, it was Fuck. the most embarrassing thing that has happened to me. And all the thank bar- God your drug dealer was there though. Yeah. Well, <laughs> like, I mean, he came in the ambulance with me, and he's like, "I need you to not. I need you to not mention drugs. Yeah, I need yeah, you yeah, to yeah. not mention who I am. Just fucking be quiet." He's whispering that to me. Fuck. And I'm out of my mind. You're like, so, do you have a pickleback shot? So after, <laughs> I'm getting thirsty. In the middle of it, I'm like, they kept asking me about like drinking and drugs and stuff. And I was mm. like, I swear to you, I, I I know that I only had one drink. Like I, I'm not, yeah. I'm not fucked up. I didn't do any drugs, but I could use a bump right now. Yeah. And then I'm looking at my <laughs> drug dealer and he said, Okay, I'm gonna go now. Yeah, I'm gonna, out of the moving vehicle. I'm out. Yeah, he's open the back of the <laughs> ambulance. Tumbles, tumbles, out, yeah. tumbles out. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that would be a hilarious movie. Right then, do a movie. Mm-hmm. That's fucked. Yeah. And then you went in, and did they realize when they took your blood or something? Can they tell? Yes, yes. And so they could not tell that I had uh, like roofie inside of me, but they were like, "Oh, your blood alcohol, alcohol is high." Nothing. But I was like, "That's because it's just residual from." I'm a constant drinker, yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's it's, it, even if I didn't have alcohol today, that I had alcohol for 17 months. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be there. So no days off, honey. Yeah. So then they gave me a piece of paper saying that I need to fuck. get help, and oh fuck. And my friends came to pick me up, and they was like, "Ah, right, girl, you a mess. Like you need to stop You're drinking." Like, right? And I was like, "I swear to you, I know what it feels like to be." Yeah blackout messy drunk and then the and then have been roofied fuck believe women yeah i mean believe seriously. women yeah also that's crazy like to, to say gl- it that many times like i i'm telling you like i fucking know what happened i'm glad that nothing happened to me i'm glad that i could laugh about it i'm glad that i'm glad every all the way it went down it was perfect mm-hmm. for me 
But I definitely was like, yo, how do people know that this is happening and then still go out? No. Ain't no song, no. ain't no drink that no. good enough for me to feel like it's worth it. It's never worth no, it. No, yeah. it's never worth it. It's not. That's a, and that's just how I felt. But yeah. like later on, you know, as a comedian, I'm like, oh, this is gold. I'm gonna do something with this. <laughs> but then, you know, during that time, my friends were just annoyed because you can be a mess, but it's like, not we get an ambulance messy. No, mm-hmm. no, no. That's that's the that line. The ambulance is line. Yeah, that's yeah. when now we all. You took us out of our high. We not high no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You blowing my high. Yeah, that's, this is this it. This is I, Yeah, no, that's, that's so, what takes a turn. I got, I don't know if I was roofied. He said it was a sleeping pill. I was seeing this guy, horrible man. I fucking hate this guy. We stayed somewhere in San Diego. Mm-hmm. No, sorry, no, San Diego. It was in Venice. We rented a place in Venice. Mm-hmm. He, was, he lived in San, San Fran. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. One night, he's like, oh, I take these to help me sleep. And we had already been drinking heavily. I drank a lot of red wine that night. And I was like, well, he's like, take this, take this. And I just, mm-hmm. I just took it. I swallowed it. Mm-hmm. I wake up the next morning. I have no recollection of the evening. I, I wake up to him going, what the fuck? Fuck you. And I'm like, what the fuck? He's like, you fucking barfed everywhere. I'm like, I barfed? Mm-hmm. I go, no, nah, I think I know if I fucking barfed, buddy. I go in the bathroom. There was projectile, projectile, like on the walls, on the shower curtain, mm-hmm. all around the toilet, all red wine, mm-hmm. everywhere. I'm like, if I don't remember getting up, projectiling for quite some time. It was, the, the bathroom was ruined. It was f- a fucking crazy. What the fuck else happened? I, I had to get a plan B the next morning because I was like, I don't know. I don't know what happened. You should remember vomiting. That's a, that's a pretty big fucking, and I'm like, again, I'm also a big drinker. Still am a big yeah. drinker. I hold my booze well. Right. That's the only time in my life I've locked out. Every, the next morning what we drink, I'm like, oh my God, I fucked that guy, damn it. Like I know exactly yeah. what I did. Like I remember all the bad things that happened. Oof. Not remembering, Oof. scary. Very oh. scary. No, no, not not good. Oh yeah. Not the, good. No, yeah, we, uh, there's whoopsies. There's, we don't take any strangers pills anymore. No, That's what they say. Don't I'm, think strangers pills. I'm bad. glad I'm out the game. I'm glad that yeah. like I just, I'm, it's it's the game's bad. The game, you, you, every time you gonna lose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, it's, it's, even if you haven't lost yet, it, you you might lose. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah, think yeah, at yeah. this age for me, yeah, I I'm can't. done. I'm ready to settle down. Mm-hmm. I have a boyfriend now. I'm like, marry me. Yeah, let's get married right now. I don't. I'm okay. fucking over it. I'm sick of flopping around, slopping, flipping and flopping, slipping and slopping. Fli- I'm over I mean, it. I think that's your. Your comedy album title, <laughs> and and title. And or title and title of your memoir. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't write, so I or read. So <laughs> I can't spell, so we can never do memoir. Yeah. Um, what do you? What's the worst body thing you've ever heard? Body thing? Yeah, like the worst body, like some a story you heard mm-hmm. or something that's just haunted you your whole life. Um, I mean, okay. I don't know if it's necessarily a story, but when the way people talk about like leprosy. Like oh. someone being a, a leper, and that's like the your skin like falls fall, falling off. Oof. That's that, that's the worst. <laughs> that's that's, the that's literally the worst. That's where I'm like, oh, I thought it was body parts. Is it skin? I thought it was skin, but it could be parts too. Who googling? Ooh, I you got it. I don't. <laughs> um, my Somebody thing check. is already need, bad enough. I need a okay. Now I, I have Siri to look. Now to I have it. to look. Now I have to look. I felt like it was skin, but I, I could be wrong. Lepers, leprosy? Lep. Yeah. You're like, oh, I got a spell. Do we know what this is, Aaron? Do you know leprosy? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> leprosy, again, I can't spell. Leprosy, okay. Okay, a chronic, curable, infectious disease mainly causing skin lesions and nerve damage. Leprosy yeah. is caused by infection, bacteria. Um, it mainly affects skin, eyes, nose, and peripheral nerves. I don't want to look at the photos. Though. No, that's we don't. we're just we gonna do the to reading. Stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We the images stop. on Google need to stop. Yeah, we have to stop looking at the madness because then no. you can't sleep at night. And when you no, do sleep, no, no, you're looking no, no. at that. And then this is mm-hmm. why our brains are eroded with sickness. Sick. It's it, we're ill. We're, we're Ill. sick. We're, we're sick. And I like I was on a week. <laughs> I'm. I thank God now my TikTok algorithm has gotten off. What do you mean? Like I, I'm now just on pretty much golden retrievers, Karen videos, and like more dog videos. Like okay. that's it. Like dog rescues. Okay. I'm sobbing, but like I was on a phase where there was like, I was seeing some weird stuff. A guy like doing this weird magic trick where he'd pinch his nipple off, and then it would just. It was like weird stuff, stuff like that. Where I was like, I don't like like eerie stuff, ma'am. Yeah, and I don't like it. Weird, like different people with like like body thing. It's just it was it was a lot for me. Yeah. Yeah. 
There's a lot to take in. And I'm like, we're, no, we're, we're no thank you. We can, also, right before bed, too, that is cementing in my head that I'm having terrifying dreams. Also, my boyfriend, who I've mentioned 500 times, told me last night that he woke up and it was super loud and like mm-hmm. was like went to the bathroom and came back and I did not wake up and now I'm now I'm on a whole new thing where I'm like freaking myself out like if I don't hear a man walking around my room getting out of the bed flopping around what am I sleeping through yeah what's going on my dog didn't even wake up damn what, what, what are we doing here I'm never sleeping again now I'm like I, it's it's bad we're getting it's bad. you know I don't want it no we don't want it I don't we want don't, it it ain't don't, good for me no well, thank you <laughs> um Another question I have: What did you did your parents ever say weird things to you growing up about your body, like scare you with some weird fucking, like some witches tales where they'd say like wild shit? Uh, when well, I grew up with my great aunt and uncles, so uh, they were like sixty five plus, and so that my mom, my auntie would tell me about like when you brush your hair, you have to like burn it because if somebody finds your hair, they can like cast a spell or put voodoo on it or whatever okay so we would we would burn hair on the stove it would smell disgusting oh my gosh it was like you just remnants of burnt hair and so that's what led me into playing with fire and then accidentally burning my house down but yeah <laughs> you burn your house down yes by that's that's my solo show I, it's oh uh, how to start a fire so i did not know this in yeah. new york no, I, I, oh, um, when I used to live in yeah. Oakland, Oakland oh, I grew shit. up in Oakland, California. Oh, yeah. and it started with the hair burning mm-hmm. and then you fuck. Was yeah. it everybody out of the house? Everybody did make it out. Okay. It was close. Okay. We was cutting it real close, but yeah, everybody, nobody died. Nobody perished. Oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. Are you still doing the show? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Uh-huh. We got to come see the show. I, I don't want to give anything away, but no, I'm like, no, yeah, just, yeah. I mean, there's so much before the fire. Like, okay. the fire is like, oh, yeah, come to the show because you want to hear about the fire. But also, yeah. there's so many other stories that led up to that. So, Oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. I've never heard the burning the hair one. That one's... Like, every time you brush it, you clean the brush out? Or yes. every time you brush every no, hair? When you, when you take out, you got to take the hair out of the brush. So they can't do that. Fuck. They can't put a spell on it. Well, no bad vibes. No bad vibes. Okay. Yeah. And Which works. is crazy because I had to burn my hair, but then I got older and I was putting other people's hair on top of my head. So it's kind of like, <laughs> how do I not know that this ain't got bad energy? Yeah. Yet, you know, <laughs> how do I, know? I don't know. Maybe the person's hair, that person is a Taurus. So like, uh huh. I could just be setting myself up for failure. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Interesting. The I more like you this. know. The more. The more you burn. The more, the more, <laughs> the more you, burn. you burn. Ooh, that's another good title of your memoir. My memoir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then I'll be like, uh, forward by City Washington. Um, <laughs> have you ever called 911? Yes, or, I yeah. have. I have called 911. Okay, not necessarily 911. I called 311 because I had lost my wallet in an in a Uber. Mm. Or I thought I lost my wallet in an Uber. Um, now that I think about it, I honestly my wallet could have been anywhere, but <laughs> it was like it was like six hundred dollars in it. Oh, my fuck. social security card was in it. Um, m- mad stuff was in in the wallet, and uh-huh. so this is crazy because I was at Fat Black Pussycat in New York, yeah. and I had like fireball shot. I'm so I'm out of my mind, and I believe that I left it in the back of a yellow taxi, but who knows? But I, it wasn't an Uber. So I get in the house and I'm in the I'm in the bathroom and I'm calling three or one and I'm I'm trying to talk to this woman, tell her where I was and what what was in the wallet and I'm just mumbling and ram, rambling and um, then I throw up in the middle of the conversation and then I'm yelling at her because oh I feel like God. she's judging me. Yeah, and she's so like, j- she was like, "Ma'am." That wallet could be anywhere. I'm not really. I can't help you. Here. I can't help you. So then she hung up on me. So there's throw up everywhere. And then uh, my my roommate comes in the bathroom and she's like, "What is going on in here?" And I'm like, wah, wah, wah. And so she's like, uh, "Okay, okay, let's let's call three one one again." And then mm-hmm. I go over all this stuff again. And uh, and obviously I get somebody else from three one one, and they're like. Yeah, I think somebody just put in a note about that, and, uh, and yeah, we're, we're gonna have to hang up. We're, on you no, then. no, no, we're gonna we're gonna put we're gonna submit it. We'll get back to you if if it turns up. Okay. Yeah, and then they called me three days later, and they're like, "We did get in contact. We did." 
figure out who your cab driver was at that night. Oh, and, shit. And he said he there was no wallet. But yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Who knows? No, there is no fucking wallet. Yeah. I'm glad Jesus that I Christ. lived a life to have all these freaking stories. Yeah, what now, the heck? Because now life is pretty, pretty dry, very basic. <laughs> There's nothing going on. I'm not falling down no flights of stairs. And if I am, I'm not drunk. I'm not losing much. And if mm -hmm. I am losing things, it's because I'm getting old. Yeah, 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 but yeah. yeah, I've definitely done You've had a, everything. You've had a couple lives, it sounds yeah. like. Oh, you yeah, really definitely. fucking went to town. You're making me feel like I did nothing. <sighs> and then I, people I see me and they just think like, Damn, you're so nice, and I'm like, no, no. I'm I'm nice because I've I've seen it. I've seen I've seen much. the bad times. I've <laughs> I've been through hell and back, you know. Jesus Christ. Um, okay. Damn, did I get did I make you speechless? You did. I was, <laughs> I, was, I, was I was I was honestly just thinking. I'm like, what? I'm thinking of like what else you fucking done, and like what? It's crazy. Oh yeah, no. I I, I knew none of this from, from you. Yeah. I thought you were a nice church girl. I am a nice <laughs> church girl. I am a nice church girl, but I do, whenever I would talk on uh, the podcast I used to have, people would be like, yo, you need to write a book. Like, mm. there is Seriously, great... have you not started? No, no. You got, mm. this is already like so much stuff. <laughs> I know. Fuck. I know, but I, every time I'm like, damn. I mean, some things, I, there's so much that I'm like, okay, I do need to keep some things for myself because mm -hmm. I do believe that like, we are just oversharing, trauma yeah. dumping, mm -hmm. X, Y, and Z, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. We're doing it too much now because we do get so much attention from it. And mm -hmm. so I, I'm trying to get in a space where I'm like, okay, not, not, not everybody need to know that, babe. You also don't need yeah, to write it yet. Yeah, you know, it's fine, you're yeah. good. But like, I do, I do have so many things that like I could talk about and be a part of just because, you know. You've seen I've, and done yeah. it all. You've seen and it And I'm 37. Everything. I'm putting it on the record. Uh, so, same. What? I got 85. Oh, my uh, God. When's your birthday? February the 2nd. Uh, March 7th. Groundhog's Day. Ah, uh, uh, fun. You're, you're a Pisces? I am. Okay. I get along with Pisces. Do you? But y'all kind of stubborn, though. Are we? I feel like y'all, y'all in y'all, not, you're not in your own way like a Taurus, but I do feel like when you feel like it, it's one way, it's, it's going to be that way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's fair. Checks mm -hmm. out. I'm definitely that for sure. Yeah, nobody can really sway you when you're in the, uh, no. nah, this is it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, well, I believe that. Mm -hmm. um, we'll wrap it up on one last question here. What do you think is the funniest way you could die? The funniest way? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I used to tell this joke about uh, how people don't want to die alone and like they, they marry somebody but like nobody knows what to do when people die. So I think it's funny if you got married because you don't want to die alone and then your partner is there and you throw up and instead of them having like everything by the bedside, they go walk away to go get like a napkin or a paper towel and then you die. So it's like <laughs> you've been with this person for 30 years and they literally leave the room when it's time for you to take your last breath yeah, and they're yeah, yeah. out. <laughs> and, then they, and then they're stupid because they didn't, buy towels so now they're looks <laughs> rummaging through things to, yeah, yeah, to get yeah, something yeah, to yeah. clean you up that's really funny. and you're already like <laughs> <laughs> or eyes I just, just want one open. last <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah um, where can people find you uh, you can find me on Instagrams mm -hmm. I'm there just said BW I'm on Twitter but not really I just really just re repost yeah, my friend Twitter's stuff but it's uh, <laughs> just said NYC and then TikTok, I don't even remember what it is, but I'd be bombing on there yeah. too. I mean, so it's, it's like <laughs> doesn't matter. But they can come see your what the your show. Yes, yeah, yes. my solo show um, at the Legion on November the twenty second and Great. December the fifteenth. Uh, I think they're both at seven thirty p.m. Great. Yeah, I'm coming to those for sure. Yes, both. please. You'll be on the row. VIP <laughs> uh, list. Excuse me. Uh, Follow Sydney. Keep following, follow Staff Infection podcast. I don't know what I'm saying. Thank you so much for coming in, and uh, we'll see you next week. I'm Thank really you. bad at it. This is great. <laughs> Thank you. That's great. We did 